Police investigating the murder of Hollywood publicist Ronnie Chasen are looking for fresh clues this morning because a possible big break in the case apparently did not pan out. CBS News correspondent Ben Tracy has the latest on the case that has many baffled. The mystery surrounding publicist Ronnie Chasen is now deepening. Harold Smith, the man who committed suicide after police came to question him, may not have been involved in the crime. A local Los Angeles TV station quotes sources as saying ballistic reports on Smith's weapon came up negative. There is an even chance Harold Martin Smith has absolutely nothing to do with the Ronnie Chasen murder. The Beverly Hills Police Department is still calling him a person of interest, but Smith's claims to neighbors that he killed Chasen may have been a case of mouthing off or simply delusional. The Beverly Hills Police have been very tight-lipped. It's very hard to get information about the status of the investigation. There are reports Smith thought he was being arrested by police for unrelated burglaries. It would have been a third strike offense for the 43-year-old who reportedly bragged to neighbors that he would die before being taken alive. Neighbors confirmed Smith's suicide happened just moments after officers arrived. When he came in, it happened a minute after the boom. Right down below the steps, I seen uh, uh, like a big splatter, a big splatter of blood. In an interview with the New York Times, Ronnie Chasen's brother says Smith was deranged and the killing was more likely the result of a traffic dispute turned violent. We are told Ronnie Chasen had a temper and that the cops believe that road rage here is a possibility. Beverly Hills police now describe the investigation into Chasen's death as wide open. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.